Equipment is a brand new system in Hypixel Skyblock that was introduced in the brand new Crimson Isle update that is finally, finally out. After nine long months, we have the most epic big update in the history of Skyblock ever, and that is definitely not a lie. But there is one question crossing everyone's mind right now, and that is, what is the best equipment? You don't want to spend your thousands of hours on bad stats and the worst stuff, so you gotta go and get the good stuff. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what that good stuff is and what the best piece in every single new slot is going to be. So if this video helps you out or if you enjoy it, I'd really appreciate a like or a subscription. I'm on the grind for 60,000 subs and I'm going to be making a lot of these nether guides. So I'd really appreciate it. But let's get into the video about equipment. Starting off, I just want to go over equipment a little bit more here and just show you exactly what it is. So if you go into your Skyblock menu and click on your Skyblock profile, you can now view your equipment, stats, and more. You're going to see where your armor would usually be with the empty helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots slot. But to the left of it, there is necklace, cloaks, belts, and gloves and bracelets are in the same slot. So these equipments are basically just talismans or armor pieces. They, they're things that you can only have one of in each of those slots. So it's like a very refined talisman that is giving you one specific purpose. And boy, are some of these good. So that's what equipment is. Now, what is actually good? Starting off with necklaces. Necklaces are really bad. There is only maybe two or three good necklaces and the rest of them are just objectively terrible and I feel like will never be used because most necklaces have a super super weird detriment. When I go into the guide here, I'm just going to show you the weird detriment ones. Increase fire damage you receive by 8% per one strength while only giving you one of like every stat in the game. And then this one has some decent stats. 100 health is pretty good. 30 defense is awesome, but it disables all healing. Natural regeneration, healing, all of it gone if you use the lava shell necklace. So I don't think that either of these ones are good. The one that I do think is good is one that drops from the Kudra boss fight, and that is going to be the Molten Necklace. I haven't come across this drop myself yet because it is kind of rare, but it is right here. It's going to give you 20 strength. It's going to give you 30 health, 20 defense, and then it does have the set bonus if you use two different Molten pieces, and that's going to make you get damage resistance while in Kudra. I don't think that the set bonus is super amazing, but the stats on this are definitely there compared to these abominations of necklaces. Another necklace, if you don't want to go and do Kudra to get this one, is the Vanquish Magma Necklace. This is going to give you more magma cream, and you can get a lot of health from it, but it is just health. This one's going to give you some epic strength and be at least halfway decent. So the Molten Necklace is what I'm going to recommend necklace-wise. Cloaks are very weird because I feel like there's supposed to be one of them that is like supposed to be the best, but... It's not for some reason, and a really bad one is the best. When you're looking at just rarity and stats, the Annihilation Cloak seems like it's the best. It gives you 1% of your health every 2 seconds. It gives you 200 health. It's insane. It's really good. It's from Blaze Slayer 7, which makes it super hard to get and super expensive. And I believe that this one is supposed to be the best. But, as I said, there is a really bad one that is better. There is a cloak from the Ghast Collection, and you may be thinking, oh, you're talking about the upgraded Vanquished Ghast Cloak. No, I'm not. I'm talking about the base Ghast Cloak, because for some reason, right now, this cloak gives you 1% of your health every second. So it is twice as good as the passive of the Annihilation Cloak. Now, you may be thinking, why is that bad? Maybe it's just meant to be like that. The Vanquished Gas Cloak gives you 0.5% of your health every second. What? I'm very confused as to why the Rare Gas Cloak is the best cloak right now when you're just looking at the passive. But if you're not really having trouble surviving and just want a little bit of extra reforge stats, I'd definitely go with Annihilation Cloak. And I'd assume that they're going to nerf the normal Gas Cloak eventually to be more on par or less than the Vanquished Gas Cloak. 
Gloves are where you start to have a tiny bit of options because there are pretty much two good gloves that I can think of. One of them is the glove from Blaze Slayer. It's just going to give you bonus damage against Blazes. If you're doing Blaze Slayer, this glove is probably better, at least during the boss. If you can switch to it right when the boss spawns, that's perfect. Because other than that, there is a really good one, and that is the Gauntlet of Contagion. The Gauntlet of Contagion is something I actually went and grinded out myself. This is from Mycelium Collection. It is pretty late in the collection but it is totally worth it. It's at 100,000 mycelium, and this is going to make it so you cause an explosion whenever you kill an enemy, and it is going to be very, very swag. It says that it does 10% of their total HP, but that gets buffed by, like, a bunch of different damage things, and you end up dealing, like, over 50% of the mob's health to any mobs within two blocks around it. So, this can lead to a lot of chain explosions and a lot of bonus damage if you're trying to AoE a bunch of enemies. It's really good for Hype Mage. It's really good for melee even because melee has no form of AoE other than this. And then you can absolutely just start nuking through a bunch of dudes. So the Gauntlet of Contagion is what I would recommend. And the Blaze one is definitely good for when you're doing blazes. The Gauntlet of Contagion's recipe is actually going to require you to get leather cloth and the best way to actually get leather cloth is by getting another one of the gauntlets from the barbarian duke x because you need 36 of these and that would be 36 kills if you didn't drop a flaming fist but if you get the flaming fists and salvage them you can do it within two kills if you got lucky with your drops flaming fists are a kind of rare drop so who knows but definitely try and go for the gauntlet of contagion as soon as possible the last equipment slot that I got to talk about is the belt and belt also is another competition that is kind of based on what you're doing in the game. The first belt that is definitely super good comes from the dojo and that is the black belt which is unlocked at 7000 points cumulatively across the dojo and you're just going to get the black belt. It's free and it's going to give you 6% damage reduction across everything in the game. So if you're having trouble where you're dying a bunch and more damage can can't solve that then definitely the black belt is the play it's a legendary belt so any reforge you put on it it's gonna be solid and as I said it's free so it's really good but there is competition and that is if you are using explosions such as Hyperion or maybe even Spirit Scepter and you're not as much worried about dying because the implosion belt seems like the full package for anyone who is running explosion damage because this is going to increase all explosion damage by 25 percent meaning 25 percent more hype damage <laughs> there's not much more to be said about that one it's really good it's very very late in the sulfur collection and sulfur is a bitch to level up but if you want to go and get more damage rather than take less damage the implosion belt might be for you that's going to be pretty much it for my talk on equipments. Do let me know down below what you guys are interested in seeing in the future for the Nether Island because there is a lot to go over. I do want to remind you guys that there are equipment reforges. This might not be super known, but they added new reforge stones in a bunch of the old Nether collections. In Glowstone, they added one. In Blaze Rods, they added one. In the Magma Cream, they added one. And in Gas Tier, there is also one. So all of those are going to have new reforged stones that are going to give a little bit more stats. It's not going to be the most insane reforge in the game, but it is a reforge that can be put on this because equipment cannot take normal reforges. The only way to do this right now is with these stones until maybe one day when they add some base equipment reforges. So that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you want to see in the future below, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.